the food. I want it so bad. But once I have it, I, I have no control over it. It's like the food has total control over me. And the, it's just coming at me. And I really feel that I cannot stop it. And so I, then I've lost control. Control to me is, is not binging. That's control. And I've lost control once I start that binge. Okay, this was a binge uh, last Friday. And it consisted of a loaf of bread and butter. It has to be real butter. Um, a big plate, big dinner plate of scrap. Now this is food from work. So this is, I, I'm describing the food that was available to me at that time. Um, a big plate of scrambled eggs and hash browns. I, I mean a big plate. Um, and a loaf of bread and butter. A pound of butter. Not, not, you know, a couple dabs. I like a lot of butter on my bread. A ton of butter on my bread. In fact, people at work, they don't know I have an eating disorder, but if I'm in that mode and they see me, they'll go, oh my gosh, how can you eat that much butter on a teeny piece of bread? So, I mean, it's an, an unusual amount that people take notice of it. About eight pieces of French toast, about four muffins, about five danishes and then by that time I'm kind of feeling a little bit sick but at the end of a binge I like to end it with chocolate or sweets. After I purge I feel well I feel like oh, thank God I could get this all out. That I mean that's a big concern for me that I can't get all of my food out and then I start thinking well I know some of the food has stayed in me and so I try and figure out how much has stayed in me so then I can kind of figure out how much I can eat the rest of the day